everyone, welcome. I am Paula and today I'm doing a vlog video sharing with you what me and my husband eat throughout the day on a low carb ketogenic diet. I have been on a keto diet now for over two years and lots of amazing things have happened to my body since I have been on this way of eating. You can watch my health update videos down below in my playlist if you want to see all of the things that I've experienced over this two years of um, healing. And I've experienced some weight loss as well. I'm still working on that. That's one of the last things. Everything else is pretty good. I feel really good. I feel great. I have a lot of energy. I don't have migraines anymore. I don't have joint pain anymore. And over the past two days, I have done some things that I would not have been able to do two years ago before I started this way of eating. I have been painting the inside of this house. It is a very big project. I actually had thought about at first hiring someone to come in and do this. Ed normally could do this type of stuff. He's a really handy guy. But um, for those of you who don't know, four months, five months ago now, starting here in March, um, my husband had a very serious motorcycle accident and busted up his leg and he's still in the healing process. So I'm having to do a lot of things that I normally do not do. And I decided uh, a few days ago that I would start painting in this house and paint until I cannot paint no more. There is in our living room, we have vaulted ceilings and they are 30 foot high in the center. And so there are some areas that I'm not going to even attempt, but I am doing the bulk of the painting. Over the past two days, I have painted the foyer, the hallway, two coats of paint, started in the living room. For those of you who are interested in our little remodeling project where we're going to have our coffee bar, um, stay tuned to the end of this video and I'll show you around what I've done and show you a little bit of the remodeling. For those of you who are here for food only, you can just stop watching the video after I say God bless at the end. And then those of you who are interested in seeing what I've done um, painting wise and the construction area that we started a few days ago, um, we've come a long way and in a few days. I'll show you that at the end of this video, but I was up and down ladders. We have three ladders in this house right now, different heights. And I uh, was able to yesterday, I'll show you a picture of me up on the ladder doing a high area. It was very high for me. It may not be for some, but um, I'm, I'm uh, not thrilled with going up really high on a ladder. And I was able to get up there and paint. And um, today I feel wonderful. Two years ago, I would not have been able to get out of bed after I did what I did yesterday. But because of this way of eating and because I have uh, eliminated a lot of things that have been going wrong in my body, I don't have any pain this morning. I do have some soreness in this arm from doing some rolling in that. My hand kind of feels stiff from uh, you know using the roller and the paintbrush, but I feel wonderful. My back feels great. My legs feel great. And I was climbing up and down a ladder multiple times yesterday. Um, my husband was at the foot of that ladder cheering me on and encouraging me and making sure that I was safe. And I was very aware for those of you um, who were worried about me getting up that high, I was very aware of my surroundings and every move that I made. I was just, I was very careful. So, um, and I will not attempt any areas that I believe would be dangerous. So um, anyways, that'll be at the end of this video. I'll be sharing our meals with you today. Um, Ed did have a doctor's appointment today and it got canceled. Uh, they're waiting for a machine to come in. It is a bone growth stimulator. His leg was repaired a couple of months ago with plates and screws. Well, there's some areas in the bone that aren't really mending like they should. So uh, we are waiting for this machine to come in to um, put on his leg to help stimulate things and get things going a little faster. Um, but that appointment was canceled because the machine is not there yet. So I got all ready for this appointment and then uh, Ed just told me it was canceled. So I'm going to get my painting clothes on and get back to painting today in the kitchen. And I will be back when we have our first meal to show you what we're having. We've already had coffee this morning and I've been drinking some water with my element and that is it. It is um, 9.15. We'll probably be eating in maybe 45 minutes or so. We usually start eating around 10 o'clock now. 
we used to do intermittent fast. We had a really small window, but we have been focusing on getting more protein in our diet. We have found that eating smaller meals throughout the day has helped us to increase our protein intake. We can't sit down and eat a big meal twice a day and get enough protein in. So we've kind of broken it up over the day into smaller meals. And so we're eating a little earlier now. We used to eat at noon and we used to stop eating around five or six. Now we just start eating usually in the morning whenever we're ready, maybe nine, 10 o'clock, and then we wrap it up after dinner time. So I'll be back to show you what we're having in just a little bit. So we just made a quick trip to town. We had to pick up some painting supplies and we brought our dog with us and she got to walk around inside Home Depot with us. I think it's really cool that they allow dogs to walk around in there. And she was really good. She really enjoyed it and getting around seeing people and people petting her and giving her a treat and all that stuff. So anyways, we're at the gas station right now and Ed is gassing up the car. We went to eat at a little restaurant here in West Branch, Michigan called Buck's Country Cooking. Really good restaurant. He and Ed both had a Cobb salad. I'll have to put a picture right here. I completely forgot while we were in there that I was filming of what I ate in a day today. So I had blue cheese dressing with my Cobb salad. Ed had ranch. And now we're having a coffee. We stopped at Tim Hortons and this is a coffee with two creams, large. And Ed got black coffee. So we are heading back home and I'm gonna get my painting clothes on and I'm gonna start painting in the kitchen. We've already decided that later on today we wanna have some breaded pork chops for dinner. So stay tuned. I'll show you how I make my breaded pork chops. It's really good recipe. So I'll see you in a little bit. All right, so I was busy painting the kitchen and needed a little snack. So I went over to the refrigerator and I grabbed some cottage cheese with some everything bagel seasoning. This is a great protein filled snack and it's delicious with the everything bagel seasoning. So I'm getting ready to make dinner. Thought I would show you the finished pro product here of the kitchen. Did not paint under the cabinets because we have some tile. I have a tile right here. This is the glass tile. It's called Oyster uh, Oyster Gray. And this is what's going to go on the backsplash all the way under you know, all the cabinets here. So and under the windows. So I didn't even bother painting those. We'll get filled up with the tile. I think it's going to look awesome. But yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and go over here and start dinner. All right, so just got done painting the kitchen and oh, I got my head wrap on here. I've been using this to um, protect my hair from getting paint. <laughs> All right, so I'm getting ready to make some pork chops. I have some smoked pork chops right here that we got from a farmer, a local farmer. We bought a pig this a few months back and these, they smell so good. They're so smoky. And I have two eggs that I have beaten up here in this bowl. And I have my crispy breading right here. The recipe for this is over on my website. It is so good and it is great for breading all kinds of things. You can also use this as a binder in meatloaf or meatballs. Um, you can use it on top of casseroles if you want a crunchy topping. It's really good. Uh, so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my pork chops and dip them in the egg and then into the breading and they're gonna go into my air fryer. So let me show you the process. All right, so, oops, I'm not gonna camera stand around. All right, so like I said, I've beaten the eggs here. This is the pork chops, the breading. This is the basket for my air fryer. So once I get everything breaded, they're gonna go right into here. And I'm only making four pork chops because um, it's just me and Ed and we'll probably both eat. I don't know if I'm going to eat two today, but if you look on this, they're pretty small meat wise. There's a bunch of fat on here. So we'll probably end up eating two each. So I just dip it in egg and then I just dip it into the breading over here and get it nice and breaded on both sides and it goes right to the air fryer. I'm gonna do the rest of these real quick and I'll show you the setting I use on my air fryer. This is my air fryer. This is a Z-Star air grill 
and these have been unavailable for a very long time on Amazon. And now, last time I checked, now I can't make any promises, but the last time I checked, which was about a day or so ago, they were available again. So I will put the link for this down below for those of you who are waiting or have been waiting for these to come back in stock. It's a great little air fryer. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my basket in here. And I'm gonna set this on the air crisp setting. This is how I make my chicken tenders, my pork chops, my fish. Um, I use the air crisp, crisp, air crisp setting. And then I usually turn the temperature up to about 25 minutes. These will cook, beep halfway through, and that's time to flip. So usually around 12 minutes or so it'll beep. I'll flip them over and let them continue to cook on the other side until they are at the right temperature and the right crispness. All right, I'll be back. It has beeped, it is 13 minutes in, and or there's 13 minutes left. And look at that. I'm gonna go ahead and flip these over, my tongs, and let them finish cooking. And I'm gonna show you, we're gonna have a Caesar salad. And I already have the dressing made. The, the dressing for the Caesar salad is in my cookbook. But I'm gonna show you how I dress a Caesar salad. This before on my videos, but I'm just gonna show you again in case you haven't seen this. Um, I take a wooden bowl. This is just an old bowl that I got from a thrift store. And I put olive oil in this bowl and when you do this, this really, really makes the Caesar salad very flavorful. I have my Caesar dressing right here. And the only thing I'm gonna put in this after I add the oil in that is romaine lettuce. And I'm gonna put the dressing on top and just toss it. But before I do that, I'm gonna take this wooden bowl. This only works with a wooden bowl because the wood absorbs the flavor from the garlic. And it really, really, tastes great. So I just put a little bit of olive oil into the bowl and then I add some salt. The salt works as an abrasive and then I had to grab my camera stand because I was trying to do that with one hand but I need two hands for this. So I have the olive oil and the salt in here and I have a garlic clove that I have kind of crushed and I just used a knife and just crushed it with the edge of the knife and you just rub the garlic all into the oil and into the bowl. And the salt, like I said, is like an abrasive and it really helps the garlic flavor to really absorb into the bowl. And then I take this piece of garlic when I'm done and I just chop it up. There's a paper. I just chop it up into chunks and throw it in there. And boy, does that make a really delicious Caesar salad. All right, then I just take some romaine lettuce and I just chop this up. And bring it back over to the bowl here. And I just throw the lettuce into the bowl. Put some dressing on here. And I just give that a good mix. Get that olive oil coated all over the lettuce. And the garlic, the salt, it all just adds so much flavor. All right. And then I just take some Parmesan cheese. I like to buy blocks of Parmesan cheese and just throw them in my blender and grate it up like this. And I just sprinkle that on top. And that, let me tell you, that is an amazing salad right there. I'm gonna have that served up alongside our pork chops. I'll be back. All right, so dinner is ready in less than a half an hour. 
I was able to get these done in 25 minutes. Of course, I already, I already had them thawed out in the refrigerator. I already had my breading already made. That's why I like to have things done in advance. It really helps when you've had a busy day. Look at these pork chops. They look fabulous. Really crunchy. The breading is so good. So we have pork chops alongside Caesar salad and that's gonna be a great dinner. That's probably all we're gonna to have tonight. We may have a cup of hot tea or a cup of decaf coffee or something like that, but that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video. Make sure you subscribe, give us a thumbs up. And at the end of this video, if you want, you can see some of our remodeling progress. Uh, I'll see you really soon. Have a great day and God bless. All right, so excuse my appearance. <laughs> I've been painting. Um, I wanna show you the painting that I've done over the past few days, starting with the foyer. So when you come in through the garage, this is the, uh, the, the outside door that comes in through the garage, used to be yellow. And this light here, we're changing this light fixture. I hit it with the ladder <laughs> and it's just hanging there, but we are changing this out anyways. But um, this is the foyer that I painted two days ago and I had to do two coats over this because this was yellow and the yellow I'm sure was very nice at one time but with all of this golden oak that we have in here I'm keeping the oak because the whole house is filled with oak and um, if we switch one thing or paint one thing we're going to have to do the entire place so the golden oak is staying so we're trying to change everything around the golden oak and I really feel that the yellow was too much warmth too much gold so we picked this color it's called weathered white and it's like a light it's a very light grayish color and so this is um there's the cat again um, this is the foyer that I painted and our master bedroom is here to the left. And then this is down the hallway. Now my living room is a disaster area because we have everything out for painting right now. Um, <laughs> we have supplies and ladders and all of that. This is the giant wall that we have not painted. Um, we're thinking about, now I know I can get up to under these windows here on the ladder because on the other side of the room, I'll show you in a minute, I painted up that high already. Um, but we may hire somebody to come in and just do that top like triangle area up there. We don't know yet how that's going to go. I can't visualize myself getting up there on a ladder. So anyways, um, this this is, you know, this all still needs to be painted. That's the old color. This is the coffee bar area, you all. This is where we ripped out a desk here. There was a built-in desk here, and all it did was collect junk. That's all it did. That was the purpose, and it was very dated looking. So decided to rip it out. We found out that the floors were missing underneath, so we found some of this matching floor from 20 years ago when this house was built. We found some of this matching floor in a box still, so we were able to patch that and I did all the repair work on the wall and we still have, Ed needs to change out that little um, plug area, whatever that's called. And then we have our cart that we ordered from Etsy. It's a rustic console buffet type cart that is made out of 100 to 200 year old barn wood. And it's really cool looking and it should be here in a couple of weeks or so. And it's going to go right in this area. It's big enough to um, take up the whole wall there. So I'm excited to have the coffee bar right there. The area that's already been painted here. That's where I was up on the ladder. That triangle still has not been painted. We're thinking that there is a landing up there at the top of the stairs. We're hoping that I can set up the ladder there and be able to um, see how high up I can reach there. If that's possible, that's what I'm going to do. But otherwise, I don't know um, what we're going to do. But today, the plan is to finish the kitchen over here. And um, we're going to paint above the cabinets here and this little wall area over here. And I may work over to this door wall area over here. So that's my plan for today. That's the progress so far. Oh, these are our new lights. We had some older lights. I'll try to find a picture and put a picture of the older lights 
I just wanted a more updated look on the lighting fixtures and we changed this um, lighting fixture too. Can't really see because of the sun, but this one here, it's got the old Edison bulbs in it. They're really cool. I'm gonna get back to painting.